lovely lot nice warm welcome to anybody new joining my channel today first of all guys we are going to be using moira today i've decided to do a really simple easy easter set so i'm going to keep it really simple and i'm just going to use two colors daybreak from moira which is this beautiful shimmery pink and the extension powder so a little bit of nude in there and then at the last minute, I brought out the glitter. I know. I wasn't going to, but what, what sort of nail tech would I be without a little bit of glitz? So I'm coming in with the Moira Extension Powder. So as always, guys, I just took that in all the way around, swipe it down the sides, and then pull the front of that bead down. Then I'm going to go in with my second bead. Come on, Trey. I'm such a faffer, aren't I? Come in with my second bead, place it right there. Wipe my brush, tuck it in. I'm going to swipe it back. I'm going to make sure it's not going to go off the edges of that nail. And then I'm going to pull it down into shape. Letting gravity give me a hand. Taking off any excess and making sure all the time that I am keeping that shape. Now, I can build with the extension powder. It is a core powder, so I'm just going to go and pop my apex in there. So, I'm, again, I'm just going to tuck it in and then just pull down the very front of that bead. Check my shape. And then I can move on to the next nail. So, again, we're coming in with Daybreak. Now, I am going to do a full nail of this. Now, it is Moira, and anybody who uses Moira acrylics, you will know they are super, super pigmented. Out of all the acrylics that I use, let me tell you, there's nothing like Moira. It is fantastic to work with. You can work super thin and get coverage. You don't have to build it up like you do some of the acrylics. Oh, I've got hair in this, so I had to dig it out. So quickly, before it sets cover that up but come in with another bead just to make sure that I get the opaqueness that I needed so yeah I've got a flipping bristle hair in there one of my clink sticky hairs off my brush and then what I'm going to do is dot some of this glitter now I just want it sparingly and I want it at the top and I want it at the bottom because we're going to put a little bunny in the middle there so I wanted it as a background so that's why it's at the top near the cuticle and then again down at the tip and then just to make sure that we tie this all in together I'm going to come in with the extension powder on the pointer finger in a glitter fade so I'm going to put the extension powder around the cuticle area pull it down make sure it's nice and opaque there And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to come in with the glitter clouded pearl it is from CJP. I'm going to pop that at the tip area. That's got quite some big hexes in there. So I'm very careful as I pull it down towards the tip area, trying to keep the bigger pieces at the bottom where it's a bit wider. And then as it gets narrow towards the stiletto tip, I'm going to put some smaller pieces in there. And once I'm happy with that, I'll let that set up. We will clear cap the nails and then file and buff them into shape ready for the nail art. Now today, guys, I'm going to use decals. And these are what I'm going to be using. I'm going to cut out one of these. It's a little bunny. And I'm going to cut that out. Just the area that I need. And then I'm going to pop it into a drop of water. Now you don't need loads. It's just a little drop just to cover the decal. And I'm going to leave that in there for a few seconds. And while I leave that in there, I am going to put some base coat on the nail area where I want the decal to go. I'll bring it out the water. At the side of me I have a paper towel so I'm going to blot the water out on both sides. 
that will then let the decal slide off and I can pop it straight on the base coat. Now, it, I haven't filmed this, but I wasn't happy, so I ended up taking it off, cutting off the bottom bit, and then just having the little bunny. Then pop it in the lamp, give it a full cure, so that it sticks to that base coat. Then on the ring finger, I'm going to do a bow. So first of all, I'm coming in with a dusky pink, and I'm just going to outline really, really quickly where I want the bow and the sort of shape. Then I'm going to fill it in. I am doing this as simple as possible, guys, so that if you want to have a go, this is a really, really quick and easy way to do a bow. So I do one side, I do the middle, then I do the other side and I will start to fill it in. Keeping the areas slightly separate as you do that. So you can see me doing one way where I'm doing the top of the bow where it looks like it's, you can see the back of it if you like. And then I do the bottom of the bow. That will come in handy when I come and do the outline. So what I'm going to do is very quickly see me look doing the bottom of the bow and then do the same on the other side like I said I will fill it in using the little detailer brush then I'm going to pop that in the lamp and I'm going to give it a full cure guys and then just to define it as a bow on this nail I'm just going to come in with a bit of white um, gel paint, not polish. These are just little, little swags at the side of the bow that I'm just going to put on each side, just to finish it off. It's the it's in the detail, isn't it? Then, like I said, I'm coming in, and with that white gel, I'm going to very lightly outline what I've just done. So I'll do the middle. I'll do one side. So I'll do the top doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be thick white lines. You're just defining the bow so people can tell what it is. So while you watch me finish off that, guys, UK, we're all back at work on the 12th of April. Are we ready? If you're not in the UK, how is it affecting you? Have you had lockdown where you can't go to work? Or are you walking out okay now? It's hard to keep track, isn't it? I was watching the news this morning and um, Europe are starting to have their like third lockdown because the numbers are rising again. It's so scary out there. So scary. So, guys, please stay safe wherever you are in the world. Guys, I am going to finish off this. I'm going to give it a full cure in the lamp. And then we are going to top coat. It's that time. We are coming towards the end of our video today. I really do hope you've enjoyed our nail play. If you do have a go at any of these designs, please tag me in. All my links for social media are in the description box below, along with all the products that I have used today. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for watching. Please stay safe wherever you are, and until next time, bye.